The business of growing and selling marijuana is booming in the state of Washington. Every single day, Washingtonians buy more than $2 million in legal weed. And retailers will pass a billion dollars in sales in the next two months. You don't have to be a grower or a smoker to benefit from the influx of green. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Nadine Woodward. The state's legal marijuana report shows that retailers are selling $2.8 million worth of pot every day. In this fiscal year, which started July 1st. State stores have sold more than $660 million in pot. That means $126 million in tax revenue going back to the state, the cities, and the counties. So how is it benefiting those of us who live here? KXY 4's Katie Curry working for you with why some agencies say there's still not quite an answer to that, Katie. Well, Nadine, when it comes to our local cities and counties, they haven't received much guidance on how to use that money, so it's really been up to them to interpret what to do with it. Washington has earned millions of dollars since the first retail pot shop opened its doors in the summer of 2014. Nearly two years later, we see the reality far out gains even the state's highest expectations. Of the $126 million, the state will put most of that money towards the Liquor and Cannabis Board for enforcement of the law, alcohol and drug abuse education, and research on the short and long-term effects of marijuana. Six million dollars goes back to the cities and counties where the drug was sold. The way we view the current law is, is that those funds are intended for public safety. Here's one little town cashing in, the city of Millwood. Population 1800 received the second highest installment of funds in Spokane County back in October. $20,000. That's because Millwood is home to two of the busiest retail shops in the county. Millwood is just behind Spokane, which received over 30000 and beating out both Spokane Valley and Airway Heights. Now what to do with it? It is a, a welcome addition to the budget, but in the, in the scheme of things, it's, it's, it's moderately significant. It's not a major contribution to our budget. The money will most likely go towards the cost of paying the sheriff's office for law enforcement. In other counties, it goes towards courts and prosecution and preventing the abuse of the drug. While Millwood expects to receive more than $80,000 this year, they would welcome even more money. We feel that as the local community that has these stores in it, we, we bear the most impact from having these stores. Now, as far as Spokane County goes, how they're going to be spending the money, they received just over um, $440,000. That money is going to things like criminal justice and covering everything from law enforcement to courts. Now, as for the city of Spokane, all of their money is going to the police department. Reporting live on the Skydeck, Katie Curry, KXLY4 News.